Shouty. When you look at life, though, man, and coming up in this hip hop game and the homies that you did lose during this time, man. Uh, you know, I just say, man, I made it, man. You know, I just wish they would be here. You know what I'm saying? Like, what would it be with them being here? You know what I'm saying? So, I always wonder what would, what, you know, what would it be like if Tupac, Biggie, you know, everybody, you know, was still here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Will we get over the East Coast, West Coast war? You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, like, it's casualties of that. And when we made it out of that, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And, you know what I'm saying? And we're here to talk about the story. And, you know, I hate that people make movies when you're dead because you can't yeah. tell your story. But I'm here to tell mine. Is, I mean, are we going to get a dog pound movie, though? Oh, man, you know, I'm just working out the right deal. You know, right now, it's just a lot of sh- shit going on with Bayou <laughs> Picks. And, so that's why I said, let me switch my Bayou Pick yeah. to a series with our kids that look just Ooh. like us, but different sceneries and stuff. It's not going to have Dr. Dre or. Yeah. You know, all that other type of shit. It's going to be some street stuff, but you're going to be like, them niggas look just like Daz and exactly. Snoop. Exactly. Exactly. Them niggas kids. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's going to be some street stuff, you know. Shout out to Ice-T, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And Man, you know what I'm saying? And just believing and, you know, I like doing movies, man. You know what I'm saying? And empowering young people. You know, I put a camera in their hand, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And just... Hey, let's work together, you know what I'm saying? What is it like switching from the music to the movies and stuff like it's that? It's all the same. It yeah. all coincides with each other. You two, you can't do one without right now. Yeah. So, you know, so if you do some music, you got to what? Shoot a video. Exactly. exactly. You know what I mean? And make it look right. Come on now. You know what I mean? And uh, that, that shows what your skills is because right now you don't even need a label nowadays. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta How know do you feel the money about the game now, nah, man, where you could just pretty much wake up in the morning and crank it up versus back in the day you had to wait on somebody to discover your ass? Yeah, you got to go with a street team. You got to go pay this. You got to go to the radio. I, I was traveling from city to city on consignment doing Tower Records, selling my CDs. So I would drive to Vegas. I would drive to Arizona. I would drive to Northern California just to drop off two or 300 CDs. You know what I mean? And Amazon and just doing all that personally, you know what I'm saying? And that's how, like, I was the first one, like, really doing independent. Yeah. Selling verses, you know what I'm saying? I had Tupac verses, 85,000. I was, you know what I'm saying? And this, this one dude was just buying them. I'm like, man, where is he getting all this money from? <laughs> but I was riding around in the Bay Area, nigga, with about 600,000 cash, you know, them little Benzes with the little compot right there? Yeah. Filled up. <laughs> I'll take it in my mama house. She like, boy, did you rob somebody? I said, Mom, I'm doing verses. I got verses. Then she, well, give me ten thousand. <laughs> you know what I mean? But just that back in the days is not the same no more. Yeah, exactly. that independent money was good. Them deals and them budgets was gravy back then. Where they come spend with the independent pop stores. And, yeah, you know. Hey, it's not like it used to be no more. What do you think happened, though, that caused the money to kind of dry up in the game? Man, the internet, man. Uh. You know what I mean? The, 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 the government, they seen it, you know what I'm saying, to reimburse the money this way instead of that way. Yeah. That's why Jimmy Ivey went and got with Apple. Yeah. And people going to Jay-Z went to go get with Microsoft, you know, Sprint yeah. and all these other people, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They seen the future. What do you think, though, man, having that foresight to know where the game is going? Where do you feel like it's going now? This motherfucker going viral. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker going viral. You can go viral like that, though. Yeah. It can it can make you or it can break you. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, shit. Hey, it's just um, you got to adapt to it, man. Chameleon, man, you know? Yeah. What do you think about the stuff going viral so fast, though, now, man? With you having to watch what you say every five minutes because you just don't know what might hit the net and it just I take mean, off. like, me personally, I don't give a fuck because my shit is already set. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I ain't really, you know, big ass stuff. You know, I got my house and shit is paid for. I yeah. ain't, I, I eliminated the rent, period. Come on, You now. know what I'm saying? My shit paid for $1,000 a year on my property taxes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, fuck you. <laughs> you did. I'm going to say what I got to say, and I'm going to say it the right way. You know what I'm saying? And not to hurt anybody's feelings, but the real is the real. I know not to hurt people's feelings, but, you know, real is the real, and bullshit is everywhere. <laughs> Radio.
Shouty.